Hey everyone, this is Welcome back with another episode of the Minecraft series. We're playing some more vanilla, waiting for my crops to grow, watching the villagers roam around. It's another day in paradise. Um, coming back a couple days later, not honestly too sure where I left off. Um, I, yeah, I'm basically I took a pause, came back. Uh, what I've been doing the last couple days is I actually got Borderlands 3, so I've been playing that, so... This whole me recording this series has kind of gone on hold. Oops, I could probably take that off now. Eat some pumpkin pie here. Been working on doing some more trader uh, trader trades. Villager trades, I should probably say. Um, just to level them up a little bit more. Could steal the leads from those, but not worth it. I also set up a re uh, sugarcane farm over here. I don't know. I don't think I did that on screen. Because I was definitely doing this while I was watching my movie the other day. So that was another trade that we have that's going on right now is the paper trade. So what I did is I set this up in the most efficient reed farm you can. Um, it's a little hard to tell because of all the reeds that are there. But let's see if I can get a good angle. I don't know if I can. But basically it's like you go one, two, one, two, one, two. Or you go two up, one over. And with that, you're literally able to pack in the sugar cane. It's on the wiki, so if you ever wanted to recreate it, uh, well, that's how you do it. Um, did some farming. I don't think I have anything in my inventory. Nope. But, yeah, I just haven't really done too much um, outside of just doing some side work. I think some of them need... Yeah, it's probably just one of those things that they need other things to classify them as a certain type of villager. Paper trade isn't so bad. I just don't have any paper. So that'll be something that I'll look into is like how to classify them. Maybe I'll put like the like tool station or something over there. Um, but I guess something we could do is we could um, probably feed our sheep and maybe kill them. Kill them off so we can have some meat. But then again, the pumpkin pie is doing pretty well. I don't know, maybe we'll make the sheep farm a little bit bigger. Because they're a little sad how cramped they are in there. And looks like I have... Oops. I have plenty of fence because I've been harvesting it from the mine shaft. Which is good because then I don't have to make any. Gotta push this guy out of the way here. Right now we're just kind of working on some busy work. Okay, looks like two baby sheep got out, which is fine, because that means when they grow up, I will murder them for getting out and defying my rules, even though I had it open from them. Um, I guess we'll just do some caving here, just something really passive. I am so awful when it comes to knowing what to do next, um, in terms of like for a series. When I'm playing by myself, I just do whatever I feel like doing, and I do that, and it's all good. But when I'm trying to make like entertaining content and having a plan i'm not good at all and figuring out what to do next um in between episodes however um i was blown up by a creeper and when i eventually found my way back to my stuff it was all gone so i lost everything so i've had to remake all my tools so i was a little sad but it is what it is so yeah i was like working on mining off screen Okay, I was making sure. So I was working on this off screen when my cousin was like, hey, do you want Borderlands 2 or Borderlands 3? And I was like, yeah. So that's pretty exciting. 
Um, one of his friends bought like a bunch of codes for a group of us to play, and I was fortunate enough to get one. So, um, let me know if that's something that you guys want to see is Borderlands content. I don't, I wouldn't mind making another character or whatever the case is. Just got to clean up this mine shaft just so it's a little easier for me to navigate. It can get to the point quite quickly when you lose your way around. Gold will be useful for who knows what. That is kind of something that makes me think, you know, maybe going to the nether might not be a bad um, adventure to partake in. Um, it's just trying to figure out what's the next logical steps. I mean, we're at... A village it's just waiting for my crops to grow and get to the point where I'm making a lot of money and I have decent trades with them but until then also working on finding diamonds diamonds would be quite helpful probably once I find diamonds I'll probably start doing some branch mining down here it's just there's so much to go through that it's probably not even really that worth it to do it but even though it's not the most efficient, technically, mathematically speaking, to find diamonds, it just, I mean, I find more diamonds doing that way than any other way. But at least I'm able to find a bunch of iron. Like, I've already found, well, not a lot, but some to at least, oh, here we go. Here's some more iron up here. I Yeah, so at least I found enough iron to replace this pickaxe, which I'll have to do soon. It's just you don't realize how fast 256 gets eaten up quite a bit. Where diamond is like a thousand twenty-four. Yeah, because it's like four times as long. And here's some more iron here, so that's good. Um, an iron golem farm wouldn't be bad as like a fun thing to set up. Um, maybe doing going to the nether and doing a zombie pigman farm. It's also not a bad idea. But that also requires doing some research before I can actually start working into that. So we'll go to the end of this and hopefully, of course... When is there ever a dead end? Honestly, I could just mine through here. Maybe I'll accidentally uncover diamonds. Wouldn't that be great? I mean, that has happened before. I've been, like, mining through. Let's see what... Oops. Not a screenshot. Two screenshots. And we're on 11. But honestly, if I just started digging in one direction, I could find diamonds. Assuming I don't burn myself in lava. Although my pick is about to break here. I was like, really? Does this lead me into another part of the cave? Skeleton with some shoes. Might as well take some more gold. Not too useful. As far as I know, I don't know any of the newer recipes, if there is any with gold. Obviously, I know power rails is one. I think my pick's about to... Yeah, my pick broke before I could finish that. Because if I can get all this area, I can pretty much close this area off, which would help eliminate some of the mine shaft. But yeah, there's just a lot to go through over here.
Should probably double mark that so I know this is the way back up. But yeah, there's just so much to go through in mine. I'm surprised I haven't found a chest either. That's another thing that's kind of um, confusing that I've... I gotta remember where I came in and out. Um, that I've like searched a good portion of that mine shaft and I've yet to find a, a chest anywhere with anything in it. So that's kind of unfortunate. But it is what it is, I suppose. It's kind of convenient that I had this ravine that <clears throat> pretty much took me right down there to begin with. So I didn't have to dig down that far. Hopefully we can harvest the sugar cane soon. I probably will work on expanding it more because I've pretty much designated this area for all things sugar cane. Because again, this all this whole farm is about, or village I should say, is all about trading with them and making as much money as possible. Essentially, being at a village is like making an emerald farm. But it takes a lot of work to get to that point. Oh, I had another pickaxe on me. Well, that sucks. I didn't need to leave. See, I came somewhat prepared, but I was not totally prepared. And these aren't quite done yet. These aren't quite done yet. You have to wait for a long time for everything to be ready to go. Um, I'm going to harvest some of these just so I can get... Um, some extra potatoes for down here. Because there is one, I think, that is doing potatoes as a trade. It looks like I almost have it, which is awesome. Just being a potato farmer. He's judging me. He's like, hmm, look at those inferior tactics. Nice. There we are. Now we have a surplus of potatoes. So honestly, I could harvest it all and um, do a lot better, but I shall wait. I don't, yeah, you can see that I've attempted to organize it. I'm telling you, organizing stuff in vanilla is not a whole lot of fun. Now, what is in this farm that makes them a farmer? Is it a compost bin that I need to make that makes other farmers? Because there's three compost bins, three farmers. Let me take a look on the wiki and see what determines a profession. So then I can come back and relay the message. Give me one moment. All right, so indeed it is. If I make a composter, I, if I even know where to go to make it, that will make someone turn into a farmer, wherever it may be. Loom would probably make them a different type of profession, a barrel. I wonder if smoker yeah I don't know but that's just something to keep in mind honestly I could maybe put like a loom over here and then they would um, I suppose I could smelt stone but that's just not as efficient either Too bad they just don't have any like any carrot trades right now. I like how he keeps stepping on that blade and then he gets hurt. He's like, oh, why does that keep happening to me? Who knows, my friend? Who knows? It's 
looking at my crops. Don't touch, mister. Um, I did have a problem with, uh, some villagers stepping on my crops, but I think I fixed it by giving, like, a place to drop down. It was more over by my stuff. There's always, like, a couple spots that were trampled. Just, like, right there. Man. Makes me want to murder their face for doing that. And then it's all about replanting. I mean, if it comes down to it and they're still trampling, I might just um, put like a fence around it so then they can't get in. We'll see. Looks like he did it again. I might have to murder that guy. Dude, you're pissing me off. Alright, you're dead. I had to get him out of my crops because he kept stomping them and it pissed me off. And as far as getting more villagers, I'm sh I haven't really seen them do any breeding, but I'm pretty sure this village has to meet the requirements to be able to breed. If not, I can just make a village breeder. There we go. My beets are replanted. Not very many beats, unfortunately, but that happens from time to time. So let's see, what are you trading? So got some emeralds from him. Let's see who else we can trade. I might get some lanterns from this guy. Hello. Okay, I'm glad they're harvestable because I'd be really sad if I spent the money and didn't even get a chance to enjoy them. Be kind of cool to go around and like put the lanterns on the house over having the torches. Kind of cool. So, yeah. That's just kind of all I've been really working on is, you know, harvesting and trading with them. A lot of sheep. Good thing I moved them over into, like, a corner over here. So I don't have to listen to them. I do eventually want to um, do, like, a cow farm. Chicken farm wouldn't be bad as well. And I really wish I had a farmer that was trading carrots. Because I have plenty. But I guess when I... Um, I guess when they get to that point and they're trading, I'll be ready to go, I suppose. So yeah, I put these little indents down here so they could drop down. 
hopefully without trampling my crops, but it looks like they are. Which is quite frustrating. I mean, if I made it all one level, it wouldn't matter, but, you know, it's just, it's hard to add so much dirt to make everything even. But, um, what I can do is I'm going to harvest the sugar cane because it looks like that's about ready. Can trade with the cartographer again. Um, we should be good to go. So another thing that I do to this farm to make it a little bit better, sorry if it's a little loud from harvesting, is I put down lily pads. Otherwise, what you're doing is you're always stepping down into water. This makes it one even level, and it also prevents stuff from going in water, which is also quite annoying. There we are. I think I got it all. But yeah, it just makes it really nice. I'm just going to run through really quick because I think I saw one. Yep. Not that one really makes a difference, but one could have led to two. Something else I should probably do is add like a crafting bench over here somewhere. Um, Just so I can craft the paper when I'm nearby. What I'll do is I'll just grab like a log from one of the trees over here and make a crafting bench. Kind of a annoying busy slow work but it'll be useful and then we'll end it on the paper trade and call it a day. Just wanted to get another episode recorded so I at least had them for the week ready to go. Um, yeah, it's, I, I don't know. I've just been, you know, really excited for playing Borderlands. So I've been kind of, kind of put a damper on this series in the sense that, you know, I'm really excited to play that. Um, but I, I'm just really happy with how, how good they did with the game. Um, they did a lot of good quality of life changes that I think really improved the game. Um, Cartographer, you're still out here. How oh, fantastic. Yeah, you can get a lot of paper from these fellas. Bam. Or someone else I will trade for one emerald also now the paper trades are a little bit better ink sack trades a little bit better and he's gonna give me some glass I'll take some glass books are a little bit better too so that could be something we could look into but I think the paper well so basically that's saying nine paper three leather will get me an emerald where this is 23 paper so I guess that's kind of something to keep in mind. That technically that can be a more efficient use of my reeds. I just need to make a cow farm. So that will probably be a project I will work on. Um, probably in between episodes for sure. Because I think that would be beneficial for me to be able to do that trade. Because nine pieces of leather, or well three pieces of leather and nine pieces of paper is way more efficient so I'll probably get like some sort of cow farm set up here um, so I can uh, get that trade going because that's a pretty good trade from the librarian um, I don't know what the best paper trade is but hopefully we can work on getting that as well but that'll do for me for today got a 25 minutes of me kind of walking around rambling working on projects but at least now I've figured out something to do um, working on getting the economy built in this village. Eventually we'll have to head back over to my original base and grab some supplies, possibly set up a road between the two. Um, cause that is home base, you know, in a sense. Um, but we've kind of built that over here, but we'll see. We'll decide what we want to do in future episodes. But for now guys, that takes care of me today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a good day. Keep yourself safe and healthy. 
and I'll see you guys on the next episode.